welcome back. We are here with 28th of February's Godly Blessing. Now the month is coming to an end and we are coming up with beautiful Vardans on a daily basis. And the theme of the Vardans or the complete blessings are also changing. So here God wants us to become a yogi soul and he wants us to be in an ascending stage personally also and also for our own personal homes and also for the service centers that is the Brahmakumari centers. And that can be done only through spiritual attraction. No other attraction is going to work out. You can't throw in money and get people to you. You can't throw in any form of jargons and get people to you. People have started, all the souls have started looking for the truth. They want to see that people are living the truth, not just speaking the truth. Because all over the world, you have people who are giving you knowledge, but are they living it or not? So people are ready to follow those who are living it. So God here says, may you be a yogi soul and make the stage of service and your service center ascend with your spiritual attraction. A yogi soul is one who is soul conscious and God conscious who is supreme soul. So soul to souls, energy to energy conscious, complete connection. So yogi souls who maintain this spirituality automatically, that means any soul who is spiritually awakened, who is looking at things in a very spiritual way, not in a physical manner, not trying to address things through the way they see it, hear about it and what they speak about it and feel, but they are more about the sixth sense. They can see things through the sixth sense. So yogi souls who maintain the spirituality automatically make the stage of their service and their service center is sent with their spiritual attraction. By being yogi yukta, that means whenever you're talking to somebody, getting in communication with someone, meeting someone as in the yesterday's blessing, you are constantly in a soul conscious stage. Being By being yogi yukt and invoking souls with your spirituality, the number of students automatically increases. For this, always keep your mind light. Mind should be lighter. There should not be any questions. How will it happen? Who will do it? Will people come or not? No. Those are all heavy, heavy, very heavy thoughts. So God says, for this, always keep your mind light and ensure you have no type of burden. When your heart is clean, your desires continue to be fulfilled. When your heart is clean, yesterday we spoke about cleanliness. So you can be content when you have a clean mind and heart and you have honesty within yourself. Scott says, and ensure that no type of burden, when your heart is clean, your desires continue to be fulfilled and attainments automatically come in front of you as your right. And this is supposed to be not just in a spiritual life. You yourself have a spirit who is living a person who is doing a job, who is living as a person who is a husband, wife, brother, sister, mother, father, and even a businessman. So you are a spirit. You can fulfill all your attainments with a clean heart. So how do you do that is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris because just a clean heart is not important. You should have a clean heart but with have all the powers within the soul. That means discerning power, judgment power, power to face situations, power to tolerate situations. And where do you learn all this? You learn it in Brahma Kumaris. Do come over and learn this beautiful art. Om Shanti.